I did record an entire video and then realized that the recording didn't actually record. But March 28th. I know that because I woke up today, honest to God, and the first thing I saw was the date, and it was my dear friend Chris Marinchek's birthday today. Happy birthday, buddy. Sunday, March 29th. Are we all going crazy? I just watched the president do whatever the fuck he does. What is that? What is it? Un Folks, I don't get it. And we just allow double talk and uh, gaslighting and all that other shit that I am so sick of hearing about, talking about. We all pretend like we're so knowledgeable, having the right vocabulary to describe the situation that we can't seem to get ourselves out of. Or we just love it. We love it. That's all it really is. So, doing other things to try to keep my... Look at this sh fucking shit. I went to Family Dollar, actually. There were things that I had to do. There were things that I had to get. Hello. After I, I was doing my voiceover demos. This is a connect the dots for adults. Of course it's for adults. But you have to get a ruler out sometimes. Whatever. That's a musician. There's the book. Comes with tons of shit. Beauty in the Bible. I don't give a flying fuck about the Bible, but I'll tell you one thing. There's really great graphic imagery in here that I could use for other things, and the price was right. Yeah, nifty shit. It's kind of like how rappers sample. That's like an artist's version of sampling. It's like going and finding a bunch of already clipped and perfectly edited versions of... Or whatever, Motown. Oh, I don't want to get myself in trouble here. Coloring the 70s. Obnoxious shit because I have an abundance of art crafts and art supplies and uh, things to do and keep me busy and they were impulse buys whilst I was already out and about doing things. When I say out and about, of course, I'm not really going out and about family dollars two blocks away. And I really only go there for one or two things uh, sporadically because I have to. I'm a human being. I'm a homebound boy. Smell me. Smell me. This is my painting shirt. I, you've probably seen it when I do the thumbnails and I look at my, my pictures. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I look like a cartoon character, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Those are what we call my comfort clothes. They're not dirty. They're, we all have them, so fuck you. I throw this shirt on because when I'm painting and doing anything artistic, I get very scummy dirty. And even with my work clothes as a painter, I don't carry rags. I wear them because I'm smarter. But I do want a good hot shower tonight. I'm going to be Good. I'm just gonna hang out with my tissues and my um, sharpies. Maybe I'll turn on some television. Not really watch it. And then look at YouTube. Maybe I'll roll some cigarettes. Who knows? We'll get crazy. Of course, I do have to avoid my father and his girlfriend Connie downstairs. I don't want to be the ultimate 35 year old cock blocker who lives at home. I do try to be mindful. AKA, out of the way so that they can enjoy themselves. I just went downstairs, I had dinner with them, we had a great conversation, great, wonderful connection. Humans being humans. Humans. Being Barbara Streis in my fucking s <laughs> Came upstairs after that, cause I don't need any more of that butter. It's like butter. I don't need any more of it, so I came upstairs to do a quick one of these, because it's on a checklist. Another thing I've been doing, folks. The fucking notebooks. Yeah, I, it's, I'm not gonna go. However, I have been thinking about turning my closet into a booth where I could have some soundproof foam put up and I could do videos for real. All my voiceover work will sound even that much better because although I'm grateful for the setup I do have, I long for a better one, right? Nothing's ever good enough. But aside from that, I have been making to-do lists. Shit I've never done before that I probably should be carrying on into my regular life. Side note, I turned the camera around, so now I'm not looking at myself. And it's even like a journal, you know, I get weird because I start drawing pictures and shit alongside my things. So then even when I go back and read them, I'm like, huh, a notebook I'll probably end up keeping. I have made it a, a conscious effort to try and upload a video a day. That can't always happen. This may not even go up. I go and I look at it and it's like, that's fucking ball sweat. The daily uploading can't be a total possibility because of the fact that unless it has some merit, some weight, something that... Is, is worth editing and uploading, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'm do, just making it a point to do it. But today I couldn't, so this is what you get. 
happy birthday, Chris Marinchek, and a hello to the fucking world with my goddamn to-do list. The point of me even saying that was the fact that having one has been worth it because it keeps me a little bit sane. I have several sets of miniatures that I've been working on, which are great. So I split my day up into sections, but I do have a, a routine. It's been f helpful. Get a fucking routine. If you can help it. If there are several things throughout the day that you could do. The one thing that is um, not part of my routine that actually should be is um, stretching, exercising, and keeping up with what I can from the mainstream media. Otherwise, reading and Dr. John Campbell daily. I'll keep saying that Brit from across the pond, Dr. John Campbell, has been doing a spectacular job uploading daily to keep people informed on what's going on across the world. Uh, away from the United States, and then we could watch at home while they give us the, the numbers that are astronomical and could only possibly assumed to be much greater, heavier, and, and um, well, let's just say there are lies of omission. Okay. Aside from that, it's our daily doses, and every day is a new one, 24 hours of fun.